All right, folks. Uh, I'm gonna give you some general information about this city, and then give you guys my two cents. So, Huntingsburg, Indiana. Uh, it's got a. It is 57 minutes away from Evansville. It is 49 minutes to Owensboro, Kentucky. It is a little over an hour to Louisville, Kentucky. It's an hour and 14 minutes to Louisville, Kentucky. And it is only 13 minutes to Jasper. I mean, just take 231, go down the street, and you'll end up in Jasper. And most people that live here, they typically go into Jasper to, like, you know, whatever needs that people might have around here that this commit that this uh, smaller city may not satisfy go this drive down the street into Jasper and address all those needs so let's see I got bring up my little computer here Okay, so, and basically, uh, let's see, when it comes to crime, your violent crime is 41% above national average. Your property crime is below national average. Your racial makeup is... Yeah, man. I put it the wrong thing. Yeah, your racial makeup is seventy one point four percent white, one point five percent black, one point seven percent Asian, and a whopping twenty four point one percent Hispanic. So this is probably the most Hispanic city in the state of Indiana. I'm gonna just, well, actually no it's not. I mean, I think East Chicago has got a higher percentage than this city. But here in the Southern Indiana region, this is definitely gonna be one of your uh, highest percentage of Hispanic. I mean, the highest percentage of, of Hispanics are gonna definitely be in this city. I mean, 24% is very high for Southern Indiana. That's what I meant to say. So, let's see. And as far as it goes for housing prices here, I mean, if you want to buy a house here in town, they do, I mean, you know, I would say plan plan to pay at least $200,000 right now. I mean, there's not a whole lot of houses in town for sale for much under 200000 so plan to pay 200000 Now, the median home price here, however, is $161,000. Now, if you're looking just to rent, let me pull up the housing stats for you people. If you're looking just to rent, Rent prices are going to go from four eighty two dollars to one thousand and one hundred and eighty three dollars a month. So rent prices are not bad. And as far as it goes for your housing prices, there are a fair amount of smaller communities that are close by here to where you will be able to purchase a home for less than a hundred thousand dollars. Now, some of them are going to need some work. Some of them are going to have smaller lots. But if none of that bothers you, then there are a fair amount of houses that you can purchase in neighboring communities for under $100,000. And you can still be within an hour of some of the larger cities that I named off earlier in the video. And, uh, okay, now I'm going to give you guys a little bit of interesting information about the city. 
Now this city apparently has a motto called City Like No Other. And this city is also known to be the Hollywood of the Midwest. And the reason why it's the Holly and the reason why uh, some people may call this city the Hollywood of the Midwest, I mean clearly it's not going to be because it's got tons of entertainment. It's going to be because of the number of movies that were recorded here during the early and mid nine during the early and mid and even into the later part of the 1990s. Now some of the movies that were recorded here were a league of their own which was recorded in 1992 hard rain which came out in 1998 in the hbo film of soul of the game which aired and which was on hbo in 1996 and this city is also the home of civil baseball and basketball players and I'm talking professional as as well as minors and uh, apparently this city is also known for its downtown and its in its numerous amount of antique shops And of course, when it comes to entertainment here, there's not really much to do. I would say when it comes to entertainment, the closest place that I can think to go if you want anything of excitement is gonna most likely be Louisville, Kentucky. go to downtown Louisville, Kentucky. That's going to be the most exciting thing that I can think of that's going to be the closest in terms of entertainment. Now, if you're not, if, if, if you're the kind of person that you get excited off of simple stuff, then, you know, you can always go into Evansville or, you know, there's like I've mentioned on my, in my Owensville, Kentucky video during the warmer months of the year which are coming up shortly here for you guys you can always drive a 50 minutes south into Owensboro, Kentucky now as far as how I personally feel about this city I mean, I mean, this is a nice, quiet, quaint, small city, in my opinion. Now, during rush hour, you will witness a little bit of traffic that will go through that will go through the city here, but but mainly, the traffic is going to be on two thirty one. But other than that, it, it's like I said, it's a fairly quiet city. Now that, now that goes on around here from what I'm able to see, from what I saw when I recorded the video. And I know sometimes if you're of, if you're of Hispanic descent and you're looking to live somewhere such as parts of the Midwest such as Indiana I mean I know for some of you uh, one concern that you guys have is finding a place to where there's going to be a significant amount of other Hispanics or finding a place that's going to be welcoming to the Hispanic community well if that's one of your concerns uh, I was, I mean, just off of the data that I read a minute ago about the racial makeup of the city. I mean, I would say if you're of Hispanic descent, then, you know, and you're wanting to live in Indiana. You, you know, you might want to come and check out Huntenburg. 
I mean, you got over 24% population of Hispanics. So this is, this is going to probably be the, if I had to take a wild guess, this is probably going to be the, among the highest Hispanic population in the Southern Indiana region. Now, there are places up in Northern Indiana, towards Chicago, that have a higher Hispanic population than, than average. And when I say that, I'm talking about there's a higher percentage of, of Hispanic populations in certain parts of Northwest Indiana, higher than what you would see in most of Indiana. So, honestly, I didn't expect to read that there was over 24% Hispanics down here in Southwest Indiana, but as you guys just heard, as you know there is. I mean, so, so there's a little bit of diversity here little bit and I don't I can't really think of anything else to say about this city I mean other than that it appears to be a quiet little city that's that's within an hour of many other larger cities I mean, it's always driving around. I mean, for the most part, it you know, the city appeared to be clean. Yards <coughs> appeared to be well kept. For the most part, there's not a whole lot of houses that are in bad that are in bad condition. So yeah, you know, come out here, check it out. Maybe this might be a place where you might be interested in moving to. And I'm gonna leave it right there. All right, folks, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing that. And to help with my channel, uh, with, ah, I can't even talk right. To help with my channel, along with all the videos that I record, Leave, you know, give me some thumbs up, and that would be heavily appreciated. And as always, I thank you guys for everything that you do, and continue to put comments below. And as always, if there's anything that I missed, or if there's any unique piece of information, good or bad, that I may not mention mention in the vi not, uh, I may not mention in these videos. Feel free to leave a comment below. All right, folks. Until next time, y'all have a blessed one, and I'll see you on the next one.